quite often a poor release will be accelerating your arm through too quickly. You know, you're holding onto this wrist angle here, you're trying to lean the shaft forward. And the club head never picks up speed because you, you're breaking the kinetic chain, the link between your wrist and the golf club is, it's locked out, right? So there's no energy that can get into the golf club. So you're having to make up for lost energy, lost um, transfer of energy by accelerating your arms faster. Now, the faster you accelerate your arms, the slower the club head's going to move. I mean, you're not going to release it. That's why a lot of people uh, double hit when they're chipping because they're locking the wrist out, leaning the shaft forward, they're shoving the arms through and the club head decelerates. And then when they catch the ball at a low speed, they flip and catch it again on the follow through. So we need the arms to decelerate. So the Tommy Fleetwood stop is going to help you do that. I'm going to hit, I'm going to make a full swing and then I'm going to try and stop my arms about halfway through. What you're going to see, because I'm nice and relaxed and I'm nice and free when I'm swinging, although I'm gripping the club quite tight as I'm, as I'm coming down, my, my central nervous system will apply the right amount of pressure on my fingers and onto the grip so I don't let go of it. But what you're going to see, even though I'm holding it quite tight as it comes through, when I stop here, you'll see, you'll see how my wrists are still hingy. You'll see the club flip up. So when my arms stop, you'll see the club go because my wrists are completely free. So imagine here, you've got like a, a rope and we're trying to come through and stop the arms and club pretty much just before that rope, right? What that's going to do, it's going to decelerate your arms and it's going to crack that whip, right? You know, when you're flicking a towel at your mate, you know, and you're trying to get, snap the towel and get it to sting when it hits them. It's the same thing, okay? You're whipping it through, you're stopping the hand and then the towel whip through. So that's the concept behind these Tommy Fleetwood stoppers. So just watch this. Absolutely ripped. Okay, look where my arm stopped and the club would have gone up like that because of the, the wrists are completely free. Like a door hinge, we've got to keep these wrists free. It's one of the big secrets of the golf swing. No one's talking about loosening up and you know doing all this sort of stuff. So you should definitely try it out. So the Tommy Fleetwood stoppers are really going to help you with the release. It's going to stop you from leaning that shaft too much and decelerating the club head. Uh, it's going to stop you from rushing your arms through. You know, it's really going to force the club to release. You know, if you're consciously trying to stop your arms here, all of that momentum from the club and speed is going to release into the golf ball. And that's what you want to happen. Let's just show you again. You will strike it beautifully doing it like that. And there's no reason why you can't take it on the course. You know, I definitely recommend you doing that when you go out to play. Um, you will strike it a lot better, guaranteed. The final problem, you know, if you're ticking the boxes with swinging over the top and you're coming down on a much better swing plane now, your transition's good. You're making that, that pause, you're waiting for the shaft to load, you're waiting for the wrist to fully load and cock, you're releasing it better, it's all feeling good. Then the final thing really is the, the kinetic chain. But if you've done, you know, one to three, you're pretty much going to fire that kinetic chain. What I mean by the kinetic chain, that's the transfer of energy from, from the ground all the way up through your body, up through every single link. The links are your joints, okay, ankles, knee, hip, shoulders, elbow, wrist, down into the golf club. What these clubs are really good for is helping you with that kinetic chain. One of the hidden secrets to all the tour players and why they're so good is because they have the perfect kinetic chain. You know, everything's firing at the right time, the energy's transferring from one segment, segment to the next, all the way from the ground up through the body, uh, down the hands and arms, through the wrists, hands, into the grip, into the shaft, and into the club head. That's how they do it. That's how they get the golf club swinging so fast and efficiently and consistently, you know, because they're not locking out like most golfers are. That's the biggest problem. So really, if you go through all the training videos that I put together um, and then do the troubleshooting guide where you've got the, the three main reasons why you're gonna hit it to the right, um, obviously improve your contact on the ball, number one. 
and then go through the three main reasons. The, the fourth reason is really just that breakdown in the kinetic chain, which is what we'd call your sequencing. You know, that's probably what you've heard of it before, sequencing your golf swing, sequencing your dance swing. So if you pretty much go through everything that I've gone through, it will help you with the sequencing. You know, there's, there's nothing much more that you can do apart from everything I've gone through in this video and all the other training videos using the, the G4 swing trainers along with the training videos. It's going to help you become your own coach, right? You're going to be able to identify issues in, in your own swing. You're going to feel that. You're going to be able to see it with the ball flight. You're going to become a much better golfer without all of the destructive swing thoughts. We've got to get rid of the swing thoughts. We need to get back to playing golf through feel, you know, feedback through the feeling, um, feedback through the ball flight, making small adjustments, you know, allowing really your central nervous system, your brain, your subconscious to take over the swing of this golf club for you. You know, there's that many different styles of golf swing, different styles of grip, lots of different ways to swing the club into the backswing, but ultimately it's really the transition and what you do there, which is gonna make and break your golf swing. And all we gotta do is get this first move down right, because as I've said before, from there, you can have your swing on autopilot, you can let your central nervous system take over and then swing this golf club with real efficiency. Appreciate you watching this video. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. You know, I'm always open to listening to any, any issues that you're finding with the swing trainers, anything you don't understand, if there's something that's not clicking, you know, it really encourages me to make more content with the clubs um, to help other golfers out. You know, the more feedback you can give me on, on the clubs and the training, um, if there's anything I can do better, then that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to simplify it, give you the tools and the training so you can actually become your own coach and you know start to do things on your own you've got to be able to do it on your own you can't have a coach there every day looking at your golf swing day in and day out telling you what to do there's got to be a point where you've got to figure this out for yourself right and if with the right information that i'm going to be giving you at geforce golf and the tools to help you out i guarantee i can make you a much better player and then you're going to start to swing with, with less effort, you're going to get more speed, you're going to strike the ball beautiful, you're going to enjoy the game. You know, there's, there's nothing better than striking the ball solid. That feeling, it's addictive. And really all we need to do is give our, our brain a little taste of that feeling, what it sounds like, what it feels like. And then it will just go on a journey to find that over and over again. That's how it works. Appreciate you watching this video. Please comment on it below. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can get in touch with me as well, stuart at geforcegolf.com, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you've got. Thanks for watching.